Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. All right, everybody, it's just popping up on my uh, feed today is, or lately, are these butterflies. So everyone's layering the butterflies, putting them on um, cake toppers, um, their cupcake toppers. I mean, they're super cute because you can really mix textures here. You can do glitter cardstock, metallic um, kind of paper, um, and regular cardstock. And all that mixed together is really, really pretty. And I've seen mixing up actually um, different mediums too. So you use cardstock and then you layer maybe um, iron on vinyl or regular vinyl. So it kind of gives you like the a lot of layers and a lot of texture and mixture in it. So wanted to give you a brief rundown of what to do. So I just went into um, images here and I searched for butterflies. And then I went through and picked a few that I liked. Now, there was a little bit of a method to my madness. I wanted a really pretty delicate butterfly, but I also didn't want um, to cause my cricket to go bonkers. Like this one, all these little, little dots. I mean, first of all, personal opinion, I don't think this butterfly is all that pretty, but then you look at all these little cuts and it's just, you're really making your machine work, right? This one obviously isn't delicate enough. It's just too, too much. There's nothing to it. This one doesn't have a background. This one has nothing. So eventually I found a few. So I'm going to show you those and also what I would do with them. But that's kind of how I picked mine. So I won't bore you with scrolling through. I did scroll almost through the whole thing. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> but I landed on these four. And I'll give you pros and cons to each one. Now, these are bigger cuts, right? So this is five by three. So each cut is bigger. But if you didn't want your machine to make those cuts, which I really like the shape of this butterfly. I like that it has like a clear head. We can kind of fold the wings here. The wings aren't going to be, I feel like the wings is just perfect balance of delicate, but still good. So this is my favorite what i don't like are the little little dots so it's very easy to fix okay so first um let's duplicate this and on this one because i want one solid one in the back okay so on this one let's go to contour and you're going to hide all this will give you your back layer okay and let's just say we make it um i don't know a blue okay and then let's put this in the back sorry let me move my face arrange send to the back and then this top layer i love gold glitter cardstock i know i'm just such a sucker so let's make that kind of like this yellow oh that's a horrible yellow that looks horrible maybe this color okay so here's my two layers and I probably want to do at least three layers because the two is just to give the cutouts a background color, right? And then you want one that's like bigger. I would probably maybe even do four layers. So technically you have um, three, three different sizes because you have two that are this one size and then you have the second one and a third one, okay? All right. Um, but I think these little dots are unnecessary. So let's go to contour and make this smaller. And if someone can tell me why the sizing changes every single time I look at something, I would love to know. <laughs> all right. So I'm selecting all these small ones. I don't, I don't like them that small and I don't think it, does anything for my butterfly. So I'm going to get rid of those small ones. And let's see, to make it even, I got rid of this one. So that's my butterfly. I might even get rid of these two small ones because we're technically folding the wings up to give it, you know, um, like a 3D effect. So I don't think that these will do anything. And I want to make this center really strong. All right. So I think this is a really pretty butterfly. We'll see when we cut it. All right, so now we have our first set of layers, right? And we want two more big ones, right? So what I would do is I would grab my blue one and duplicate that one. 
because the ones in the back, we don't need it to be cut with the little intricate details. No one's going to see it. It's going to be in the back, right? So that's why I took the blue layer. And let's make this um, a little bit bigger. Now, the other thing that I don't like about, well, I mean, Design Space has a few things. I love the Cricut Maker. That's the one that I have. I love it, love it, love it. There's no way I can do projects without it. But there are some things that make it very, very uh, kind of old school or kind of like I'm always dealing with the workaround. We can't, you, this is just like the letters where you want the offset. It's not going to work perfectly, right? And so let's arrange this all the way to the back. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So this will look okay. It'll look actually very, very pretty. But what I don't like is, do you see how the antenna is gonna be different? The head's gonna be a little bit bigger as well as the bottom. So I, what I would recommend is only this top gold layer has the full antenna and the body. Everything else, I would probably slice out starting right around here and here. Okay, so this back layer, let's send it back to the front. Okay, so let's just move this and let's just cut the head off here and the tail off right around here, okay? So we'll take our circle and let's duplicate it because I don't wanna go get another circle later in case I need it. And let's move this to the back. Arrange, send to back, and then let's move this up. Um, and change the shape. So unlock it so that it doesn't have to be a, a perfect circle where your radius is the same all around. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make it slender because we wanna get the antenna and the head out, right? And it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to do that because the antenna kinda comes out. So I can't really get this to be perfect. We'll probably have to slice it two times, okay? Maybe even three times. Okay, so that looks about good. So let's grab these two items and we're gonna slice. And that way, this little guy won't be there. And then here, um, we can just go to contour and we can get rid of it, right? Okay, <laughs> and then we still wanna get rid of this bottom. So uh, let's just do this. And maybe take off right around there. So let's grab these two items, slice, It's not super clean, which I don't really like. So actually, let's do this. Let's duplicate my circle and let's get this more. I don't want it looking weird. <laughs> okay, so let's just put it right around there. Let's slice these two things. Slice, all right, that looks better. Okay, we don't need any of this, okay? So go ahead and get rid of that. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So let's make this a different color. Let's make this a pretty purple. And then we're going to send this and actually maybe even cut it up higher. We'll see, arrange, send to the back. Yeah, cause you can kind of see it. I almost feel like we should cut it right around and just give it a body. But do you see now, then you don't have the funky antennas up there. Right, so let's um, let's clean that up a little bit more. I actually want to take it all the way here. So let's make this more slender and get it all the way up here and slice. Yeah, it's kind of kind of adult-ish right there. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so now let's bring this to the back, but you can kind of see, now you won't see that at all. You could even cut it a little bit higher if you wanted to, but I don't think anyone's gonna notice. Okay, let's duplicate that purple layer because we want it even 
bigger, right? So let's make this a little bit bigger and make this maybe um, a dark purple and send it all the way to the back. So now you have your layers of purple. Um, yeah, I really think that you should slice it all the way here. So what you could do, this is what you should do. Um, let's just get more, okay. Oops. Uh, let's do that. And slice it. So, um, I did not want to do that. <laughs> okay, first let's contour here. Let's get rid of this little piece that I don't want. Okay, let's put this back though. And I trying to get it so it's perfect, which darn it, it probably isn't going to be, but oh my gosh, let me undo that. I want to weld it back together. Okay, so let's grab these two things and weld it. Okay, not bad. It welded. Um, okay, so now let me put it back so you can kind of see why we did that. So we have these two layers. And then on top of that, that looks better, I think. Um, okay, and then on this one, we can get rid of more. So let's bring this in. right around there, slice that out, and scrap this contour. Oh, I didn't slice it enough. That's still hanging in there. <sighs> That's okay, we'll fix it now. So let's grab this and let's weld it and then get this little guy out there, okay? So we can do something like that. Okay, and then let's slice that. Oh my God, did I still not do it? Undo. I am like seriously not thinking tonight. Arrange, send to the back. Okay, let's move this so that we can get there. Um, there. Now let's slice it and get rid of that little piece that's hanging out there. Okay. Grab that contour. Yeah, we can get rid of that. And then this we can get rid of. This we can just weld together. Okay, so there's our last butterfly arranged, sent to the back so you can visually see what it's going to look like and if you're happy with it. Yeah, that's gonna be really pretty, depending on your colors too. Okay, so let's get rid of um, these things. We don't need these. So that's our first butterfly. It's technically four layers, but you're really gonna, I mean, you're gonna see all four layers because of these cutouts, but sizing wise, you have three layers, right? All right, um, now this guy I liked because it came with an outline, so you do have a perfect outline of it, which means you can take another one and duplicate that one. Oops, sorry, I meant to ungroup this. And I meant to make this one a little bit bigger. And let's change the color to blue just so that we can see it. And let's make this all the way to the back, send to the back. And so you can kind of get, you know, your three layers, right? Um, the only thing is it doesn't have the antenna, which is easy to solve. So um, let's say you liked one from this one, then let's do this. Okay, we're gonna slice this. 
And the reason why I slice it there is I want to separate the antenna. So when I click on this black one now and go to contour, I can essentially hide all, click on this, this is what I want, remove this, and now I'm left with the antenna that I can now attach to my purple one. Okay, so I'm going to take the, the antenna, hit my shift key, and my butterfly, and weld. And now you have your antenna. So that's butterfly number two. Um, let's get rid of this. We don't need this. All right, this guy I like, um, but it just feels like really slender for some reason. So you could play with this and for instance, unlock it and make it a little bit wider. Do you see, it doesn't have to be the same. I kind of like, I mean, I'm just partial to these, but I like this shape. I think that's great. Um, okay, and then lock it. Once you like your dimension, you want to lock it. So now when I stretch it out, it will get as long as, it will get long and wide proportionately. So I really like this shape. Now, if I want to do my next layer, right, I'm going to make a duplicate. And then I'm going to go to contour. And I'm going to hide all because this is going to be my back layer that shows the colors. And let's change the color just so that we can visually see. And then um, send to the back. And there you have a beautiful black and green one. And then you can duplicate that green one. And just kind of like the first one, right? We're going to send this to the back. Um, duplicate it and make one a little bit smaller. I went too big, I think. And let's make this one a light green and send it to the move backwards, move backwards, move backwards. Um, what color are we missing? Of our black. Do we have all the colors? Now I can't even remember, but okay. So same thing with that first one though. I, I would slice it right here so that we don't see this green and this green. Um, as for the bottom, I feel like it's okay because it's connected to the wing, but you can kind of see like Cricut just doesn't really let you do an offset really pretty, right? Because look at this. This doesn't really go with this one and this one. So on, I'm going to nix this one. I'm gonna, we're going to make two butterflies. I really like this one and I like this one. So we will cut both of them, get rid of this. Um, let's look at the colors that we want to do. So I'm going to pick the same colors for both butterflies so that you can kind of see um, the different colors. Uh, so let's do the top layer. The top layer is going to be gold. Okay, and then the back layer, I don't want to use, do I have, I have blue, purple. Okay, I have all the colors, the same colors. Okay, then let's go to make it so we can see what it looks like. So I should have two butterflies on each cardstock. So here's my gold. This is going to be gold glitter. It's going to be so pretty. Um, this one, I don't know what color it's going to be. This one and this one. Oh, so one of my butterflies didn't have this layer. Totally fine. And that's it. Um, now, if you, you know, you can always move this. So if your paper, if your scrap paper is this way, you can just pick it up and move it. Okay. All right. I can't wait to see you. Check me out on Instagram. You'll see the final pictures of this. So it's the useless crafter, no spaces. And also I want to point out if you follow me and you watch my off the mat, so you can see Snow White and Cinderella in the back. Princess Jasmine right now, the skin color that I used and also her blue top, they are crazy on sale. They're on clearance right now. Um, so today is um, April 21st, I think, Tuesday, April 21st. The skin color is on sale, like the packet is on sale for like $2.97 or something crazy like that. The glitter cardstock is $5 for the pack. Um, 
And so it is on my Instagram link. So if you go to my Instagram account, go to my uh, bio page and click on the bio link, then there's gonna be a link for Cricut that will take you directly to one of those items. So um, I do get credit, so thank you for supporting me. If you use my link, then I can do these free videos. Um, but get it, because that is the cheapest, cheapest I've ever, ever, ever seen. All right, <laughs> bye guys.